In today's video, I show you how I look for photographic inspiration while just on a quick walk around Edinburgh. Let's start off by taking a look at the shots we're going to get. Starting down in Dean Village because it is beautiful down here and I'm coming down just to the side of the river because I want to use this snow as some foreground interest, hopefully getting a nice shot looking up the river. Focusing on the middle and taking my shot. This is a really lovely scene here but the problem is, is that the church in the background is very overpoweringly bright meaning everything else is falling into shadow. It's actually the problem with quite a lot of Dean Village, if you can see, because it's in this sort of gorge. It means that once the sun starts to set, it's only the tops of the buildings that are being lit, meaning everything else falls into shadow and we lose a lot of that interesting contrast. Although when the tips of the buildings get light, it does look pretty good. Let's try this. I'm using a fixed 35mm lens, which is kind of cool. But ideally, on a shot like that, I'd like to have been able to zoom in a bit more. All right, let's keep going. Again, this is usually a nice scene too, but we've got all this shadow here, which means that the rest of this image doesn't look that great. So I'm going to keep going. I'll actually just cross the river and come to the other side and the reason is is because we've got this really nice bit of concrete whatever it was which is going to give some really nice foreground interest for the rest of the scene so I'm shooting quite low positioning the block in the lower thirds This fading evening light does mean, if we just peek over this wall, beautiful colours on this building here. It's a school actually, imagine going to school here. It's a shame there's no cloud detail, because having just an empty blue sky doesn't look great. It's also a shame. I don't have a longer lens to try and zoom in on some of these towers a bit more and make the composition a little bit more interesting. Heading now to the Modern Art Gallery. It's another great looking building. There really are no shortage of lovely buildings around here. Of course, not everyone can live in Edinburgh, but there may be some really nice buildings where you are or some like modern ones that look a bit striking. There's another one just over here. They're always worth going and exploring in different light and seeing if you can get anything from it. Ooh, it's muddy on here. Now, I want to get that snowman, but I don't want my shadow in it. If I get really low, mm. I don't think there's any way of avoiding my shadow in this unless I try and shoot another way. But I want the building in the background. Mm. Maybe this angle. Sits so around, moving around the scene, trying to find some move that works. Maybe a little further back. Aha, and now my shadow is hidden by this one. Okay, let's give it a try. Focus on the snowman. Reframe. I 
There are other snow objects, but none of them are men anymore. None of them are people. So I don't think I'm really going to get a lot from them. That's just a ball of snow. I do like the no more miracles sign, but with a wide lens at 35, it's almost invisible in the scene. I'd like to try and find a nice bit of snow to use as foreground and get a big wide shot of the building. It does look really cool with this evening light on it, even though this is just empty blue. I'd love there to be some clouds in there. Let's see what we can find. Hmm, didn't love that. Maybe this last bit over here. It's not quite a snow person anymore. But it's something. I'm thinking something kind of like this. The thing is, I'm not necessarily getting great stuff here. I'm certainly not getting anything portfolio worthy. But the point is, is that I'm outside and I'm trying. And one of the things I talked about um, between last year and this year is the general lack of drive and inspiration I've had to come out and to actually grab my camera and go and take some shots. But one of the things I promised myself that I'm gonna do more is just to go out and basically go out for a walk, but have my camera with me and just start trying to get my brain working again. Start trying to think of photos I wanna get. And maybe that's retreading old ground like I've done quite a bit today in this video. Or maybe it's just kind of walking down a different street that you maybe not gone to before and just seeing what you can find. And I am already finding that just being out is half the battle. It's kind of like that drive to exercise where like the argument you have with yourself about getting up and going and doing the exercise is always worse than the actual exercise itself. Unless you're doing burpees. Burpees are horrible. They are worse than thinking about exercise. So frankly, even if I go back home with no photos I like, which is likely, I've not taken anything great, I'm still happy that I've been out. That was the point. The point wasn't to get the best photos. The point was just to get out shooting. And if you found that you've been lacking inspiration and lacking that drive to go out and start taking more photos, that is the time to just pick up your camera and go for a walk in any conditions, go anywhere. The point is, is you're trying. That is gonna kickstart your photography more than anything else. I've come to this side of the art gallery because this is where the sun's hitting it. And I'm wondering if maybe there is a shot to be had. Something like this. with the allotments all snowy. Problem is that the ground is very much in shadow. So it's not the most compelling of shots, to be honest. Though I do quite like the road here, leading up to the building. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this justice on this camera, but. down in the holly, using that as foreground. Snap. It's fine, but again, absolutely no cloud detail, which is a real shame. Okay, reaching up real high, making use of that LCD screen, hoping it's focused. I'm just moving my frame so that I'm not cutting off any of the words behind the sign. That looks good. That's an extremely bright sky. Very shadowy ground. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with that. But looking this way is a lot better. I'm going to use a wide aperture so that more of these railings fall out of focus. Something like that looks great. I like this patch of light. I just need someone to walk through it. 
someone like this. Snap, snaps. Let's have a look. I'm not really one for street photography, but I do know that sometimes it requires a bit of patience. Yeah, one of these might look quite nice. Got very bright skies behind this. Let's see what we can do. Let's use a higher aperture, see if we can get a bit of a starburst on that sky. I've lived a few minutes away from this area for the last year but most of these roads I'm going down now I have never been down which is pretty exciting well, maybe not so much exciting but it's nice to be able to go and explore and see what's out here and photography is a great way of enabling that because I have no need to come down this road or any of these roads normally as far as I know, they don't lead anywhere that I particularly need to go. But looking for photos has actually given me a good reason to just explore. Get to know my area a bit more, get to know Edinburgh. I have no idea what's up here, but I sort of vaguely see some older looking buildings and it looks like maybe a, a railway bridge. We we'll have some very beautiful conditions down on this canal. Oh, it was a canal, by the way, not a rail bridge. I feel like I should be able to make something of this, but I'm kind of struggling, to be honest. Partly because these block of flats in the background are pretty ugly. But maybe using this mooring post as a bit of foreground. I'm turning back because it is absolute solid ice the entire way down this canal and while I'm sure there could be some good photos in it the chances of me falling on my ass is pretty high well it's getting pretty dark and I'm having to wear a mask now so uh, I think it's probably a good time to call it a day here. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot more right now. Hopefully this video has been at least a bit interesting. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you don't already, and I will see you next time.